Show me your statistic before you make wild statistics. Day 33 of kicking trees till I get shins of steel. Oh my God, no. Whoa. I'm all for training your shins, but why hit such a sharp object that's gonna break your skin? Bacteria is gonna set in, create a septic arthritis. Whoa, this is so cool. Not medical at all, but I love the break. Oh, oh, oh! No! Just in case anyone wanted to know what my fingerprint looks like. Oh, it's a heart. I love it. Probably makes the best Valentine's Day cards. Okay, we have a, a big trampoline, and I don't know what that is bouncing. Oh, it's gonna fly, it's gonna fall. Oh, honestly, that's concussion. Neck spasm, whiplash injury, counter coup injury, lots of problems. You gotta be careful with head injuries, man. This is bad. Because not only did he get hit in the head and his neck like snapped, but then he landed and he hit his head again. Doctor, I think I have a fear of long words. Me it too. Sounds like a classic case of hippopotamonstrosis squepidelia <laughs> No way that's a real world. I have just a specialist for you. Her name is Dr. Anne. Oh. Anne T. Disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> okay, that's, this is not real. It's over by like Char Gaga Dr. Wait, Chaga. what is that stethoscope that he's got on? That looks like it's from like the 1910s. Okay, we got a basketball. It's bouncing. It's He's dodging it. Dude, that was close. Oh! Gotta be careful with testicular injury there. You could have a serious problem. <gasps> the hospital wondering why nobody I used that. I need help. I need help. I need help. I... Push for help. There's a spider. Oh, yeah, you don't want to push around. I don't need that much help. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, the hospital's got to do a better job cleaning that up. Okay, what's happening here? It's a rodeo. They're pulling her. Oh, no. These things are terrible. Okay, I don't like this at all. Oh, the centripetal force on your brain is just so bad. Like, it's, a, it's just really unnecessary, and she's going to feel horribly dizzy. The endolymph fluid that's within your semicircular canals and the little crystals that are in there that help you gauge position and have your equilibrium going, they keep going it's through inertia. And as a result, you start spinning and feeling like you're continuing to move. So I don't envy her. I just woke up, but I'm about to eat three cloves of garlic um, okay, for like a natural antibiotic. Okay, I mean, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, why can't you just stop and say, I like three cloves of garlic. And I think overall it's probably a healthy thing to do because I'll be with it. Then I have a few spoonfuls of probiotic coconut yogurt. I normally add um, a little bit of cinnamon for good luck. Good luck. At least that's one's not medically inaccurate. I, fine, add cinnamon to your yogurt for good luck. I'm with that clean. This is um, a powder to help with your gut. No, it's, it's not. It's immunoglobulin concentrate, I don't really know. Yeah, exactly. Repeat that again. I don't really know. I'm gonna try chlorophyll again. Oh. I think I'm gonna get a cleaner brand, um, but to detox the body and the liver. Detox the body. We all need to detox the body. How have we been alive for generations without detoxing our bodies, man? It's it's incredible. It's incredible what these supplement stores sell to people. And my curiosity and questions to individuals like this is when you walk into a supplement store and you see a hundred thousand items that have ridiculous claims about cleaner skin and this and that, and yet all those problems still exist in the people going to the store. Aren't you skeptical? If I prescribed a patient who has acid reflux, a prescription drug, and it never helped them, you don't think I'll ask some questions? Something bad's about to happen. I feel it. Medically, I'm concerned. Oh, nope. He just went straight for the, the butt drop. See, that's not going to feel great on his sacrum. Seven seconds to detect stroke, Alzheimer's, brain problems. I love it because none of these things are related to one another at all, except they happen up here. Overlap, index, and middle finger. Touch your thumb and ring finger. If the little finger can move freely, the brain is healthy. <laughs> my pinky finger is moving, but after reading that and listening to that, my brain is no longer healthy. <laughs> oh. There's gonna be a mean skin burn there. I love helmets. I love helmets. I love helmets too, man. They protect our brain. I've been drinking my own urine for 17 years. <laughs>
You know what's wrong with you as soon as you drink your morning pee. Ooh, too much salt, too much caffeine. <laughs> Why don't you just control the amount of caffeine you take in or the amount of salt you take in? Why do you need to taste it? The universe telling me signs I don't want to hear. Trending all over my For You page lately has been eat papaya seeds to get rid of parasites. I did this parasite cleanse and I've been pooping worms. I'm a holistic nutritionist and I haven't done a parasite cleanse in ages. So I'm thinking, is this what the universe is trying to tell me? No, it's what you were searching. So the universe just gave it back to you because that's how the algorithm works. It's not predictive. 80% of people have parasites. 80% of people have parasites. Show me your statistic before you make wild statistics. Three steps to get glowing skin without touching your face. Sleep well, hydrate well, eat niacin rich foods like beets Put it, glide up and down <laughs> your neck to your ears you mean get a massage they stimulate the nerve endings that lead to the release of endorphins cool so um yeah if you get a massage you'll feel good and i don't know if that's considered medical advice or not to avoid straining your eyes while working you should try the 20 20 20 rule. oh i love the 20 20 rule every 20 minutes for 20 seconds look 20 feet away for every 20 minutes you work then you look at something that's 20 feet away, then watch anime for 20 hours. <laughs> I did not expect that. No, actually watching anime for 20 continuous hours is not good for the eyes. Oh my God! I have the best advice for women in business. Get your f***ing ass up and work. What's happening right now with her eyes, I feel is manufactured because there's some kind of split screen effect on her face that's copying with what with one side of her face is doing. As an experienced medical professional, I see the arteries going within her eyes and they're following the same trajectories on both sides and I don't find that to be feasible. By the way, I'm not paying attention to what she's saying. Right? Though that's fake. I don't know. POV, you unplug the beeping things at the hospital and all the patients start sleeping better. Okay, you know what? You shouldn't do this, but alarm fatigue is real. If you have alarms going off for no reason and you start ignoring them because you know they're for no reason, that's really dangerous because then you could tune out alarms that actually matter. So please, if you feel an alarm is going off constantly and you're not responding to it because you know you don't need to, turn it off so that when you do hear an alarm, you react. And by the way, there should be quiet times at night so patients can rest because they need to rest and recover. We don't fix patients, patients fix themselves. Please help me. Why? My eyes hurt so bad. It looks like you just have a subconjunctival hemorrhage. I mean, I don't know for sure. Please, I'm not joking, they burn, bro. Well, if they burn, that means you probably got something in the eye. But in most cases, the biggest thing about a subconjunctival hemorrhage is patients worrying that something bad is going on. But in reality, they come in, we rule out other issues like a, a scratch cornea, brain lesions, by doing a neurologic exam, reflexes. We just make sure they're okay and then we send them home and say, you'll be fine. <laughs> Wow. I'm not gonna lie, aesthetically this product looks cool. I have a feeling, and I kind of wish I bought it for this video, it's probably garbage. Here's my concern. I think your skin gets caught in between the wheels. I want, if anyone's used this product, leave me a comment down below. I'm worried about your skin getting caught in there. But if it's good, let me know. Holy smokes, Oh, dude. what's happening My here? cut is insane. Shout out to my barber, dog. My assumption is there's some kind of allergic reaction happening. There's edema, and then it's pitting edema, so she pressed in that area, and while it's coming back, she made a video. Shout out to my Windows. Ah, that's a hyperextended knee right there. Oh. Oh. Oh, does she have an artificial eye? Wait. What was that? I have no idea. I need you to explain. Something. I have no idea. To remove a contact lens? I don't know, I don't know. That looked like a Nerf gun oh. bullet. Okay, this looks traumatic in nature. Or it could be congenital. You got it. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I've seen this guy's finger Just before. my bone in there. See, what I think is happening here is injury to the middle layer of the skin or the proteins that connect the, the epidermis to the dermis. And as a result, there's edema in there and fluid in there. So that's just his finger moving. But then the nail should be moving too. So I don't know right. what's going on. Oh, 
What is this? This looks like a burn of some kind. There's an ichomycosis, so there's some fungal infection of the nails there. The feet are quite red, so there could be potentially signs of infection, whether fungal or bacterial. I mean, blisters caused usually by friction or heat or something happening damage-wise. There are also autoimmune conditions like bolus pemphigoid, but usually those are all across the skin, not just in a single location like this. Oh man, I wonder what happened here. Maybe like a heating pad was left on the skin and it burned the skin because that's what it looks like happened. Wow, that's a big blister, lots of edema there. But also it looks like that person has swollen ankles as well. So I'm having some kind of dependent edema, perhaps congestive heart failure leading to lower extremity edema. Some foot scraping. Ew. <laughs> Some foot scraping transported into a buttering bread. No, God, please, no, no! Have you heard about the old wives' tale about the potato in the sock overnight curing the flu? I've seen this on Five Minute Crafts and it made me very angry. It will clean your blood! God, why am I so angry? She had a pretty bad fever, so she had the chills. Okay, just so you're aware, the reason you have fever, the reason you have chills, is because your body gives you chills, so you shiver, you raise your temperature of your body, therefore your immune cells actually start functioning at a better capacity. Viral cells have a tougher time replicating within your body. Don't know what roles potatoes have in this. And then in the morning, you just take them out, and I'm always amazed at what it looks like. Look at that, look how black. You know what's also black? If you leave it out, avocado. And you don't even need a virus or a parasite for that. <laughs> it's just like the potato has sucked all the disease out of <laughs> oh, oh my god, the potato sucked all the disease. Oh, or it oxidized, just like an apple does or an avocado. But I like to leave the other piece of the potato cut up on the counter so I can compare it. Yeah, do you know what the difference is? Your poor child's sweating all over the potato, so it's oxidizing faster. Do you, do you know, know if you, you have dark circles or puffiness under your eyes? The chances are your kidneys are not flushing out toxins. God, man. What if it's just your face shape? What if it's that you didn't get a good night's sleep? Or is dehydrated? Now, if you see an Ayurvedic practitioner or even a Chinese medicine expert, they can look at your face or your tongue and tell you what's wrong with your body. No, they can't. Like, what if they have cancer and you're telling them it's because their kidneys are, are dehydrated? Yes, you could be dehydrated. And when you're dehydrated, your kidneys suffer and they don't filter your blood as well. So like all that stuff could be true. But the fact that you're so sure of it is where you're wrong. Your lungs are the lower part of your face. No, your lungs are here in your chest cavity. And your stomach is the upper cheek. No, and your stomach is also in your abdomen. It has nothing to do with your cheek. In your temple area, right here it's connected directly to your liver no it's not there's in fact besides the blood that goes in your liver during points of tr uh, circulation that also ends up here there is no connection between your cheeks or your face or your temple and your liver oh or if there is some kind of jaundice condition and the area is turning yellow but whatever this person is saying is horribly inaccurate needs to be taken down mouth taping Let's talk about why you should be taping your mouth shut every single night before you go to bed. I thought she was gonna say so you don't bother your partner or some joke thing. Breathing through your mouth contributes to a host of issues, including bad breath, gum disease, cavities, brain fog, and a weakened immune okay, system. Some of these things, yes, bad breath, gum disease, cavities, true. Brain fog, weakened immune system. Now we're starting to get a little into the quack space because that's not exactly true. Maybe you can have a higher propensity for getting sick, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have a weakened immune system. Brain fog also so very subjective so here. Many, and most people, myself included, breathe through their mouths at night. Taping your mouth shut before bed completely prevents that. Well, first of all, it doesn't completely prevent it because that's a really small piece of tape. Number two, before doing this, you really should talk with your doctor to see why it is that you're breathing through your mouth at night. Some people have obstructions in their nasal passageways that could require treatment, whether medical or surgical, both are options. Some people have allergies and a simple nasal uh, steroid spray can help and do wonders for them. Some people can just take over-the-counter oral medications. Others might realize that they have a polyp obstructing their sinuses. And as a result, they can have great results with surgical options. Or you could have really bad obstructive sleep apnea and you'd benefit a lot from um, a CPAP device. So like, this is where like the TikTok, maybe some good advice turns into drastically over 
hyped advice that can become potentially dangerous. But it is so easy. It doesn't come off overnight and you're gonna have the best sleep ever. I hate when people make these claims, you'll have the best sleep ever. I just, I can't say that to my patients who are suffering with insomnia. Like that's the difference between a random person making a video on TikTok versus a doctor giving advice. I have patients who are truly suffering and having really bad times in their lives because they can't sleep. And if I promise them great sleep and the best sleep ever with this piece of tape and they don't get it, that trust is completely broken. But in general, breathing through the nose is best. So like whatever strategy you have to do to do that after speaking with your doctor, uh, I'm all for trying different things. And if you do breathe through your mouth, there are mouth sprays that you can use to keep your mouth uh, a little bit more lubricated, like dry mouth sprays. Check out this Draw My Life video of me coming to America. I know you'll enjoy it. The animations are fire. As always, stay happy and healthy.